I mentioned to a friend of mine, a fellow that stops by the gun shop quite a bit, that I had gotten some Hewlett Packard server power supplies. I think they're 750 watts. He shows up about two weeks later with two of these. These are Hewlett Packard server power supplies. Neat little handle here that detaches them from their home. And quick hot swap plug arrangement. ESP 115 or a PS 5551 2. It's a 500 watt power supply. I think the other ones I have are just 12 volts. This one is actually 5.125 at 34 amps, 3.3 at 40. 12.05 at 30, and then 5 at 5, and minus 12 at 1. So this pretty much emulates the new style PC outputs. While I have this here in the shop, I think we should take a look at it. Well, I've taken out 12 screws, and it looks like this is actually stuck down by the label. I'm sort of prying up on the bottom of the label. So the label was stuck to the top of the fans, at least the rear fans. We have four 60 millimeter fans, one thermistor or heat sensor, and five potentiometers. So I'm guessing those are voltage adjusting potentiometers. So we've got these connectors here in the back. Four here and six here. Then we've got a whole bunch of little control pins. So it looks like these four here are all ground. It says ground. I'll get in there and let you see what I'm looking at. Now each one of these little teeth openings here refers to a pin. So I'm going to say that's 12 and 12. This is five and five, and this is three and three. Does that make sense? So I see this bolted to a heat sink. This is not thermal goop. This was glued. It was used to hold these, this wire in place. And I see a green thing here that appears to be a thermistor. So we have something here and something here. I don't see any more heat sensing devices although it could be down in there. So, I'm going to take a heat gun and I'm going to heat the green thing.
it shut the device off. I took the heat away and it just started all by, on its own it started. Now can you hear the fans running in the background? I'm going to take my heat gun I'm going to heat this one up here. So the fans sped up. Now they're slowing down. We have three outputs. These green clips are one on each output. And I assume that these are the three output devices. They don't sense temperature on every one of them. I think the assumptions made that this thing's operating across the board at somewhat maximum capacity so that all of these heat sinks are assumed or designed to be the same. So they only control fan speed from one. It's interesting that if this is the device that shuts it down on high temp, it's interesting it's not located more center. I've just hit or miss adjusted all of these pots. I found one that just adjusts the 5 volts. So you can see it's at one end of its travel. And there it goes to the other end of its travel. So that potentiometer clearly adjusts the 5 volts. That's the 12 volt output. Now I can get it. I found this potentiometer. But if I turn it uh, clockwise, the fans are speeding up. Though it adjusts 12 volts output, which is supposed to be 1205. Minimum output is 1205. I remember say what? Yeah. 1177 is minimum. I can increase it. Fans are slowing down. I think I could go to 13.3. If I go above 13.31, my notes say 37. There we go. Supply just shut down. So I can leave it there. Now, I don't have a load on it. And if I shut it down by unplugging it, it's 
starts back up and goes exactly back to where I left it. I got this from uh, this CASA in New Zealand, maybe. I tried to go to their website and find this information. Very hard to find. Better off to Google it. Here they give the uh, how to start it up and they give three of the this thing has five supplies. Two of them are output on this herd of terminals and the other three are output here. This is DC negative and it's also the chassis. In fact, I have all my meter leads clipped to the chassis. Interesting paragraph right here. And that is what I verified. 13.3, it shuts down. 13.25, run all day. At least with no load. I think I can remove this handle. It looks as if this is a removable piece. If that's so, it will make the case nice and... There we go. Now the case is nice and squared off. No projected corners. Uh, the only thing that projects outside the case is the connector. Sticks out a little bit. So it's still powered up. I just removed the jumper. And that didn't start it. Well, it did start it. <laughs> it didn't start it immediately. Let's find out why. It stopped it. I plug it in. So it delays the starting on if I use that jumper. So it looks like the top jumper is the key. Removing it shuts the supply down. Reinstalling it. After a time delay, the power supply starts up. Stops immediately. Time delay. Starts up. Now I need to find some reliable connector.